Hey guys, welcome to the next video and in this video I will show you how you can make the selection of values based on your top values like for example either top 10 values by discount, top 10 values by sales or top 10 values by profit similar to how we did it in the previous example the sorting, sorting by profit, sales or discount. So how we can do it in terms of filter or a top n or top 10 selection top 20 selection let's do it in this example we put control c y and just going up what i've done nothing is accidentally selected that and clicked outside what i'll do is create a new duplicate sheet and duplicate sheet is over here now uh, we need to take some category which is uh, having a lot of values instead of subcategory so it can be either um, product name or a city so since we are in subcategory let's take product name over here add all members and here we are with all the members as you can see now um, we'll go to the product name fill click on the filter click on top and by field and we need to make this top uh, not the fixed value but a dynamic value so that user can make any selection so I'll come over here and click on the new parameter and let's say top n current value stand displays automatic I will want to put it as let's say list or maybe range whatever I need so minimum is 10 maximum is 100 and I will put a step size of 10 so either top 10 top 20 top 30 up until 100 so now we are good so top n already exists maybe i just created it previously top n2 maybe click ok and uh, yeah from here we need to select this sort measure that we created it earlier so sorted measure and click apply and ok all right so right now we are here top uh, 10 by sales so here is our sales and the other values related to profit and discount so this way we can see wherever our top 10 sales are how we are doing in terms of profit and discount similarly if I choose profit here is our top 10 values for profit but how we are doing in terms of discounting so for example discounting is really high over here though the sales and profit is not really high so we can see what is going on now if I want I can choose the top instead of top 10 I can have top 20 so here is my top 20 values or top 30 values and then I can make the selection about how it is doing so he, here is my top 30 values for discount and here is my sales and profit so that's about uh, the quick idea of how you can dynamically choose the top values which is uh, based on the selection you are making in the parameter which is connected to a um, measure which is a sorted measure so by this setting you can make a dynamic and make a dynamic sheet or a dashboard for your end. so that's pretty much it about uh, this example and i will meet in the new video the new topic